you going guys and welcome back to video number two on the HQ Premier slash GDS mock-up build. Now, in the last video, if you haven't seen that, there'll be a link in your top right-hand corner. Go check that one out. That will bring you up to speed. Just to skim over it quickly, uh, we cut the outer lower off the rear quarter panel. Found out that there was rust on the inner as well. We've also cut that out. We're going to be making sections for both inner and outer in this video and getting it all done. Um, this is my first weekend I've got to spend on the car, so I'm pretty excited. Can't wait to jump straight in and get as much done as I can. I feel like I'm getting a bit of a flu thing going on. My wife's crook, there's people at work sick as well. So I wanna try and bowl as much out, because uh, like most things in life, you can't be bothered doing much when you feel sick. So let's jump straight into it. So we're gonna be making up uh, the section here first. Uh, to give you a quick little skim over the steel. So we've actually got uh, one mil sheet metal here. We've also got a Unimig uh, 185. Um, the wire that I'm using is, I think from memory, 0.8 mil wire. So basically it's got a radius that goes in. Um, so what we're gonna do, being that I don't have all the right gear like shrinkers and stretchers and all the rest of it, uh, we're gonna be making a lot of it up on a vise. <laughs> having a bit of trouble trying to get the shape that I want in one piece so I am thinking I may have to make it in uh, one two three pieces instead of two so I do have uh, a pre well it's for an inner it's probably all right but it's not ideal um, I'll show you what I'm talking about so what I'm trying to achieve uh, one way we want oh no this way so what I'm trying to achieve is, I've actually completely butchered the shape now, but you can kind of see what I'm trying to do. I want to try and bend this piece here around towards... Oh, God. So as you can see, I'm having a bit of trouble um, getting the shape all in one piece. So this is where making several pieces and welding it together um, can actually work in your favour a bit better. Alrighty guys, so here we've got a inner which I've made from scratch um, using one mil steel. Uh, I've made it out of three separate pieces, welded it all together, and this is our final product. So we've got great penetration all the way through the piece. Um, now, I'm gonna rust treat this and then paint it in the U-Pole weld through primer. There's two separate products which uh, I do recommend for steel conditioning and rust remover. 
and they are the Melomotive Resto Finish uh, Rust Go and Steel Cleaner, um, and also the Cams like Deoxit. Uh, both of those products I've made separate videos on. In this video's description, you'll see links to both of those videos if you're curious about the process on how to do it. Alrighty guys, uh, so all the welding is done on that, just gonna grind it all up. So this piece here has the uh, flat edge, which is the inner part for this, for the outer. Um, so all that's left to do now is grind, it, uh, grind all those welds up, make sure they're nice and flat, make sure that there's no holes and stuff in between the welds, because obviously we didn't just weld all the way down and all the way down. Um, we have spot welded it all the way everywhere, or like tack welded it everywhere. So there is a chance that I've missed um, a little bit in between one of them. So I'll find that out when I grind it all back anyway. Um, but yeah, it looks pretty good. Um, on to the grinding and then um, yeah, we'll start tackling the outer panel. a bit of manipulation uh, we've got that uh, new lower skin looking pretty decent um, it's gonna be a little bit tricky to weld it on because we've got to put a little bit of pressure on that um, the top half of the quarter but I'm pretty happy with it uh, we will need to pretty much make uh, a bit of a dent um, on the top to match the arch uh, we can tidy that up with the filler afterwards um, but yeah I reckon we're almost ready to start welding So just to give you a quick little look at these, so they're those little studs that I was telling you about. So we're gonna throw that in the top. And I hope that I'll turn the power on. And what we're gonna do is try and aim for the crease. Now I've put it in a pretty stupid spot. We really need to 
get bare metal in there. So I might get some uh, sandpaper, sand a lot of that epoxy off so I've got bare metal showing and then we'll be able to pull it. Alright guys, just to give you a quick little skim of that, so we pulled it out a fair amount. Um, so as I may have said in another clip, um, so I have to keep in mind about the shape of the wheel arch. So as we all know, they all curve out like this. So what I'm going to do is basically pull a lot of this damage out. Now being that it's right in a, a of like a bit of a valley I guess you could say it's really tight in here so it makes it really hard to pull it out so I need to really check to the opposite side and take a measurement from the bottom of the panel up to roughly where the concave or the little what the valley starts uh, there I can actually um, get the right shape and get the valley starting in the right position um, and match it up with the other side. Alrighty guys, so give you a bit of a recap of what I've been doing. Uh, we've basically cut the lower quarter panel off. We've welded the section in from rear spares. Um, I've hammered and dollied a lot of the, the I guess the high spot from the welding. Um, it's relatively flat through the center of the weld uh, or through the panel. Now, what I have been doing, I'll grab uh, my flashlight, my phone, just so we can lighten up the the picture a little bit. Um, so basically I've been looking from the inside out um, and like looking for light uh, poking through. So um, there's a couple of areas where I've actually missed with the MIG. Obviously when you're doing tack welds and tack welds, uh, to weld it all up, um, depending on the gaps that you're welding, there may be some areas that you've missed. So uh, what I've done is I've basically been highlighting them um, with the light on the outside and that's basically showing me where I've missed and I've been going along and just migging them up. Um, so to give you another bit of a recap, so um, the whole outside's pretty much welded up and ground back. Um, we've got uh, the inside uh, to finish off. Um, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna continue welding that up. Uh, I'm not gonna film uh, a lot of that, um, but so I've welded from pretty much here all the way to probably here. Um, what I've also done, I might as well grab my phone again to show you. Um, we'll get rid of that earth off there. Um, so to give you a bit of a squiz in here, I don't know how much you can see, but basically, oh, sorry. So in here, uh, we've hammered and dollied the inner to the outer. Uh, so what I actually plan on doing is basically, um, just like drilling through the outer skin um, in probably, I don't know, four spots or three or four spots. Um, and then by plug welding 
the outer to the inner as well for more um, obviously rigidity, rigidity is that even a word um, so yeah I want a spot weld or uh, like plug weld all in here um, and then obviously I wouldn't mind um, obviously grinding a lot of that excess off so it matches the rest of the wheel arch here um, apart from that the lower of that quarter is pretty much done now in regards to access now um, I'm not sure if I've filmed um, it or not but basically it would have been nice while this skin was actually removed was to hammer and dolly a lot of this out now being that the car um, has been like mini tubbed uh, let's get the light out again um, so being that the car, um, it has been all mini tubbed uh, it doesn't give me a lot of access uh, in there so pretty much the only area that I can hammer and dolly out is pretty much from about here back um, from here forward that's all in the mini tubbed area so what I will do is I wouldn't mind bare metaling this area and using my stud dent puller and just pulling a lot of that um, what material out and shaping it up a little bit better um, we've also got the crease in here to try and pull out with the dent puller as well um, we probably won't be able to pull all of it out being that it's so tight uh, through here um, when I welded the skin on I did pull that out you may have seen that uh, I pulled it out a fair bit here so I could weld it um, I need to get a tape measure and basically measure from the bottom of the panel up to basically where the roll starts of the quarter panel on the other side and then I can basically match it on this side so I can tidy that up and match it with the uh, body filler. Um, now I won't be doing any body filler work as of yet. Uh, what I want to do is just get rid of uh, all the rust to make all sections. Uh, get all the rust completed on the car and then I can start on my filler work. So there will be a point where I will stop on uh, the rust repairs, bare metal this and get it in a, um, uh, like get it in epoxy um, because I don't want bare metal sat like this for too long because it will start to get surface rust. Um, obviously it's not going to get rust holes in like a week of just sitting so I'm not overly too worried about it. Um, but it's always good to just try and keep the bare metal sealed and stuff like that through the process. Um, apart from that, um, what I'm hoping to do today is basically finish that quarter off and start on this dog leg. So um, I haven't really looked too much behind it um, and you guys won't be able to see due to lighting. But basically the inner is pretty much non-existent as well as you can see from my finger. Um, so we will need a pretty much um, so what I'm so the way that I'm gonna probably uh, tackle this is cut Pretty much maybe two or three mil in leave the inner wheel arch part there So cut directly up here uh, cut directly up here and pry it open um, And then but I want it longer than the inner so I've got lots of room from the outside to weld the inner up from the inside and the outside um, and then I'll just basically make a section that needs to go on the outside uh, Fold the flap back shut like tack it shut and then weld the extra piece on um, Underneath actually feels pretty good So we may even be able to just make a cut like directly through here up here to pretty much just above the seal panel um, depending on where the rust stops now it is pretty much just in this little area so I reckon if we were to pry it open to pretty much just in line with the seal panel there uh, that should give us a, um, enough room to basically weld the inner and the outer right together in regards to shaping of the steel it's it's probably one of the most easiest shapes to make it's just a rectangle basically um, so yeah that's that piece I want to get this done like today as well um, and then um, the owner actually rang me just the other day. He's gone and picked up the inner uh, and the outer plenum. So at some stage I will be uh, tackling that. But I wouldn't mind leaving this to the last minute or, or like up until like the last kind of stage of the rush repairs. Because um, I still have the quarter panel and dog legs to do on the other side. So at that point I'll spin the car around and we'll be able to work on that. Um, but yeah, that just gives you a quick little skim over uh, pretty much what I've been doing, where the car's up to. 
Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, I've actually uh, been in contact with Melomotive, uh, Peter Lamb and Lincoln. And uh, I'm actually booked in uh, to do the spline course, um, which is in June. So uh, I will be attending that. I've gone and bought myself some uh, Melomotive splines and sweeps. And uh, we're gonna look at getting uh, like Lincoln in the shed and he's gonna give you a bit of a demo uh, and speak a little bit about the splines uh, when it comes to doing the filler work and stuff like that. So um, yeah, the, uh, exciting times coming. And it's one of those things, uh, I think the, the spline course will be beneficial to a lot of people, uh, even like the, um, the seasoned like, professional as well. So um, yeah, I'm looking forward to that and uh, I'll keep you updated with uh, a few like tips and tricks that I learned at the course. And obviously we're gonna be using the splines on uh, this HQ. So anyway, I'll show you a little bit more footage of basically the quarter getting done and the dog leg and we'll, uh, we'll pretty much leave the video there. So I appreciate everyone stopping by and watching yet another episode on the HQ. Uh, we'll see you next week for another video.